Hey gang, this is Carl Elwine, Elwine Engines. Today is a two minute tech tip. I'm going to show you how to measure if your piston is in or out of the hole and exactly how far. A couple simple methods with your uh, basic hand tools, a flat edge or a ruler and a feeler gauge. And I'll show you uh, this method and how I do it. So after the break, stick with me. Okay, uh, the first method I'm going to show you is basically just by eyeball and the feeler gauge. So basically what I do is eyeball um, when the piston comes up to the top because there is a few degrees where it just dwells at the top. Just feel, go past it a few times where it stays at the top. Back and forth, so you know it's right there. That's just by feel. Always measure at the at the center because the pin, uh, the piston rocks. So the piston will be higher over here, lower down here. Back and forth, right? But the, in the center, it's somewhat consistent. It will be a little bit different on one side or the other. But then just feeler gauge it. If it's out of the hole, you're going to have to measure over here. If it's in the hole, you just feeler gauge it. I'm, I'm cheating, right? I already did this. And I get 11. I got my 11 feeler gauge. But you get the point. Now let me show you the other method. Okay, the other method. If you have uh, dial bore gauges set it across the center. You can just use one, but the first thing you do is find, get your, get your bridge and find the deck and zero out your uh, bore gauges. So you have where your deck is on both of them at zero. Then put this over the center and go to the highest point and take the average. All right, so I have minus 10 on this one. And I have minus 12 on this one. Average of that will be 11. Hey, it matched. And that is how you do it. Do it for each corner, number seven, number two, and number eight, so you know if you've got a square deck. All right, simple and easy, quick two-minute tech tip. Carl Elwine, Elwine Engines. Take care.